to draw a Japanese tori arch, you will need a pencil, a pen and an eraser. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. So you really need to kind of plan out the dimensions that you roughly kind of want. And all you really need to do is something like that, which looks like uh, the mathematical sign for pi, doesn't it? That's really all the planning you need to do, but do draw that very gently because we're going to erase those lines later. Now I'm going to start by drawing a line across there like that. And then you want these slight curves at the end and then they are going to come down into the middle and then curve up at the end again. And if it's not quite even, I don't think that is. I think that needs to go up just a little bit more and then and then back again. You can just adjust that until it just sort of feels all right. And then you might like to just shade it all in while you're at it. Underneath that, we need a piece of timber that's going to be going across like that. And then each of these is going to want little these little bits up at the top of the columns. And then we can draw the columns coming down at a bit of an angle. And they will come so far like that. And then we'll just draw this bit up here. So we're going to want to have a beam coming across there like that and sticking out on the other side. And then we want these little wedges just slightly sloping up like that. So they're wedges to hold the whole thing in like that. And then we're going to want another beam coming down in the center. Now here we're going to want to have this coming down just slightly wider, so we'll come straight across there, just slightly wider like that. And then when it reaches the ground, we want to have these little column bases like that. And then we can have some little sort of lines going across there and maybe some grass on the side there like that. When you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines. Like I say, don't press too hard with the pencil or else it becomes really difficult to do that. Um, and then I'm going to go like that all the way down and then I'm just going to almost go right to the edge there with a bit of a kind of a scribble, which will just give us a, a kind of a shiny black line down the side there. So a little kind of a scribble, a little scribble next to it, but leaving that little scribbly gap and then you can shade in the rest like that. Then all you need to do is paint it red. And there you go, how to draw a Japanese tori arch real easy. Thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and Thanks for watching and click down there. Make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.